So I think it's a really great plan and I wanted to call it Protocol Gemini. So let's go and have a quick and fast look on how Protocol Gemini looked like on my week. Hi Crankers, hi Sprinters, welcome back for a new episode, episode 16 of Crank and Sprint Chronicles. Let's go through the week and see what happened this week and why I had to ask for help to the AI. Monday, just a rest day after the race of Saturday and Sunday, I wanted to rest a bit, I have still a bit of back pain. On Tuesday, I signed up for a race and I decided to race at the West Thames League. Good feeling, not that bad to be fair, um, not many riders, so I thought it was a good opportunity and then I even though I didn't feel maybe 90% or 100% I wanted to race. Classic wind, 20 km per hour plus. Felt okay. Should I also catch one or two breakaways? Yeah, felt okay. Then a heavy rain started coming down. I felt really cold. Also, I forgot my shoe cover, so I was completely soaked in the fit. At some point, I get dropped. It was only a few laps to go, three, four laps to go, but, you know, very disappointing. I felt very bad, very demotivated. Didn't expect that. So for me, it was was a really big hit. While Saturday, eh, unfortunately, I got dropped, but obviously I felt I did the maximum I could do, and the race was very hard. I think there was something wrong on Tuesday. Obviously, me, uh, <laughs> I didn't expect that. So this is it. So I came home. I said, I need to do something. I need to do something. You know what? I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to do a plan for me. Six days. Next Tuesday, another race. Then ChatGPT help me. I asked uh, the AI, and I said, I had a better race. <laughs> That's what Chap GPT says. Sorry to hear about your tough race. Let's craft a plan to help you bounce back and improve your performance plan. Day one, recovery. Day two, endurance. Day three, interval. Day four, strength training. Day five, tempo rides. And then day six, short intervals. And day seven, uh, rest of like activity. And then we got the race. Okay, not bad the plan. You can see quite specific, but I say, you know, let's double check and let's ask another AI. The other AI that I usually use, obviously, for, for all the rest of the things, is Gemini, a slightly more specific plan. So Wednesday, it was an active recovery, a flash legs and promote recovery. Is this pin on Swift? Zone 1, 56% on FTP for 60 minutes. Thursday, power development. Improve a power threshold and above. So the plan here is a six uh, per three minutes interval in zone five, 105 or 120% of the FTP with two mini recoveries. Quite hard to be fair. Uh, three, two, three, two, three, two. There was also an alternative outdoor intervals in a local here, repeat course short a steeper effort or higher in intensity to mimic acceleration. This is really good. Uh, Friday is more um, to allow some rest uh, and focusing on race tactics. So light stretching or yoga, review the race course if available, visualize your yourself performing well. Think about strategy for cornering, following attacks and maintaining position within the group. Great strategy, great training, great plan, I have to say. Uh, this is actually really impressive. Saturday, skill development, practice crit specific skill with a higher intensity, swift group ride uh, with a crit focus. Search for a race simulation event, frequency attack, and short burst of high power. Practice holding your position and reacting to acceleration. Alternatively, find a local group ride with similar characteristics. Sunday strength plus conditioning plus an easy spin. Maintain leg strength and blood flow while promoting recovery. Combine a gym session with an easy spin. Focus on core and lighter weights for upper body strength, which I did at home. Easy spin, swift or outdoors, zone 1, 50, 60% for 30 minutes. And then the Monday, be fully rested and prepare for the race, light stretching, from rolling, visualization of the race course, ensure proper hydration and pre-race meal plan. If you feel good, a short, easy run, 20-30 minutes on Thursday or Sunday can be a good option for active recovery. So there's also a good luck at the end. Protocol Gemini number one, one hour in zone two. I did it on Swift, pretty easy one. I did um, a group ride. Second part of the protocol Gemini interval, so 10 minutes in zone one. Then I went in uh, um, zone five for three minutes, two minutes, three minutes, two, three minutes, two, three minutes, two, with a slightly peak. So I started from 295. I went up to the highest peak at 310 and then uh, 32, 32, 32 in terms of minutes. And then I did the last 10 minutes. Really hard training, I have to say. Protocol Gemini number three is just 35 minutes of yoga and then I did a bit of a stretching, a bit of an exercise, so it's a bit more of a rest day. Protocol Gemini number 
four is a group ride in Richmond Park. I did uh, a group ride, 50 kilometers, four laps. I struggled quite a bit. It was a very fast group. In and out for three, for three laps. And then I, I, I dropped on the fourth. Felt that even though I dropped at the very end, I did quite a good training. I did my second best output for one hour. On the Sunday, protocol Gemini 5A, training at home for 30 minutes, core and upper body, which went very well. And then uh, protocol Gemini 5B, six kilometers, zone one and two, uh, run Riverside. It was quite busy, a lot of traffic because there was a football match. I think it was Fulham, Liverpool. So I had to dodge a lot of people, not the dif most difficult for the training, quite a relaxed one. And then I follow up the plan. So protocol Gemini 5, so one, two, three, four, five complete. The race is Tuesday, so the only way to find out if the AI worked is to come back for the next video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe the channel, leave a comment down below. Did you try the AI? Are you using the AI for your training? Or let me know what do you think about uh, Gemini, ChatGPT, which is the best? Did you try it? Did you not? Make sure you'll be back next week. Make sure you come back and see if the AI worked. And as usual, I see you here next Thursday at 6.30 p.m. London time.